Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's one crook check, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. <sighs> discipline, discipline, setting your own standards, setting your own deadlines, setting the, the things that you want accomplished in your life. You have to have it in your head and you, your, you, my friend, you, it's your responsibility. It's not a boss's, not an employer, not a parent's, not anybody else's responsibility, but yours. The responsibility falls on your shoulders to set your guidelines, set your standards and set your de deadlines and it comes in your day-to-day -day work and how you actually operate, all right? Quick example, all right? This past weekend, <clears throat> this past weekend, I got a little bit behind on my work schedule, all right? So for those of you who do not know, every single month I write up a feature on a, a, a college athlete, all right? I write up a feature on a specific college athlete and I name that college athlete the athlete of the month. We do an NIL deal. The feature goes on my Medium account and the medium, my Medium account is monetized and all that. So the revenue that gets generated, it goes to the supporting the athlete and things like that. So at the moment, there are currently three pub as of this recording, recording this February, the last week of February, February 26, 2024. Recording this the last week of February. And at the moment, there are only there are three features written. One titled Redefining Teamwork. The other one is titled Born to Play Ball and to Serve. And the third one is Playing Through the Pain, which is the current athlete of, month, current athlete of the month, which is February, right? So because this is the last week of the month, it's like, all right, look, it's time to get to, it's time to get to March's, it's time to get to March's athlete of the month, right? So for the first one, for the first article that I wrote, and this was Redefining Teamwork. This was the one that debuted in December, the December one, right? <laughs> it took me a couple weeks to write the article. Granted, there were, there was, it was three players that were included in it, but for the most part, it was the same length as an article that has just one, one player featured in it, right? So it took me some time because I needed everything to be perfect. I needed the I's to be dotted, the T's to be crossed, punctuation, everything. I needed that thing looking great, right? And it took me longer, took me longer, especially since it was, this was going to be the first time I was doing that type of deal. It took me, and I, I mean, it, maybe a few weeks or whatever to get it done. But I knew that as a writer, someone that is going to be writing as much as I do, you know, that's kind of the, the core of what I'm all about. I, you know, make sure I write. I have a have a gift in terms of writing in a very conversational tone and stuff like that. So I I knew that I knew when I was writing that feature, I was like, all right, you know, this is taking me way too long. This is taking me way too long to write, you know, because it was a couple weeks and all that. So anyway, fast forward to now, fast forward to 2024. And I just signed the next athlete who's going to be the athlete of the month. And I'll be announcing that throughout the week. I'll be announcing who it is month the month but understand she got me the what i the way i normally do is i send the athletes a questionnaire and the once i get the questionnaire back i'm able to write the article based on the way they answer the questions on the questionnaire and all that so she sent me the article she sent me the the questionnaire back only this past friday only a week and it gave me only a week to write the article right so here's what happened <laughs> I knew I had a lot of things to do this weekend. Like uh, if you keep up with my videos, you know, I went to a track meet and then I had a birthday party to attend and all that kind of stuff. So I went, I planned on doing the whole article on Saturday, but I didn't get it done. But I knew, however, that I needed to, I, I knew, however, that I needed to write the article by the weekend because I wasn't going to leave it for something to do during the weekend. And then Friday comes, the article's not finished, there's this, that, and the third. So I knew I had it in my mind that, look, I got to get this article done this weekend no matter what. And <clears throat> here's what I did. Saturday, I sat down, I made sure that was the first thing I did Saturday, and I got a good chunk of the article done. I mean, I did research on it, and this was, you know, she has a lot of information out there on her as well. She's kind of a big-time basketball player coming out of the Indiana area, so there was a lot of information out there on her, and I had a great conversation. I had a great Zoom meeting with her and things like that, so I made sure, this is what I mean, this is the topic of today's Move Swiftly Thought. This is the importance of setting your own deadlines, like the, the grant, kind of the rant that I went on to start this video when it comes to setting your own deadlines, making sure your standards are where they need to be, all that kind of stuff. Because here's what I did Saturday. 
I knew that it was gonna be a busy day Saturday, so early that morning, I made sure I wrote a good chunk of the article, uh, got a good chunk of the article done, and then I knew in my head by Sunday, before I did, before I got on my live stream, I knew in my head, I kind of look, the article only needs about two more paragraphs to kind of really finish it out. And just a couple, you know, quick proofreads, light proofreads and stuff like that. And the article was finished. So boom, article got done. All the marketing material. Now I sent it over to my editor and all that kind of stuff and made sure I hit my deadline. Now, I'm telling you guys this. The reason I'm breaking all this down for you is so you understand there was nobody telling me I have to do this. There was no person saying, hey, we need this by this day. This, this is all self-discipline. This is all what it takes to run your own business and run your own shop. You got to set your own standards, set your own deadlines and make sure it gets done there's no there's no better feeling and i'm telling you this this feeling that i the feeling the rewarding feeling when the article was completed and i read through it there's no feeling that there's no feeling that'll trump that no matter how much a person or a boss or somebody would pay me there's no feeling of setting your no better feeling i should say than setting your own deadlines setting your own things doing your own things and making sure you meet your standards that's when you know you're making progress because it's in your own head and the things you want to do with your life that's going to make it so you go to the top you have that self-confidence you have that confidence within to make it so whatever project gets laid out for you you know what you're capable of and you know what you can do and that leads to more of a trustworthy personality more trustworthy brand a brand that people can trust to get things done or more of a situation where people start to trust you at your word because you trust you with your word so now it just it just becomes obvious or you are able to be a whole lot more transparent with people and let people know what you can do and what you can't do all that kind of stuff and these are the important things these are the facts these are the things that we got to get done make sure you start setting your own deadline whatever it is this week whatever it is today set your own standards say to yourself i'm going to get this thing done today do not stop until it gets done. Do not go. Do not go to sleep until it gets done. I don't know what it is for you, but just figure something out. That's how I. That's how I operate throughout the day. That's why these videos come out every day. That's why I bring it every single day, no matter what. All right. Main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work: makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one, Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker. Checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.